Good morning and happy Monday to you. This is Emma from Way to Fitness. How are you? This is St Andrew's Day. So it's the 30th of November. Christmas is just round the corner and I have to say even I'm beginning to feel a little bit Christmassy, like I need to get cracking with this now. There was something about the turn of the weekend, knowing it's the 1st of December tomorrow. I'm thinking, okay, I need to do something about this now. How about you? <laughs> On our Shine VIP group, we have got a um, a, cho a supermarket chocolate challenge running. Now, what that is, is that we gather points. <laughs> and what do points mean? Prizes. Okay, we gather points for, oh, I must be a minute early because there's the clock chiming. Oh, I'm early, I'm early. Very unheard of. Um, we all gather points for every time we walk past that stack of cheap chocolate. You know the sorts? Great big plastic boxes of chocolates um, that the supermarkets think we really can't live without. So, you know, they're, 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 there's a big plastic box. Quite how many is there still in there? I, I couldn't tell you. Um, but, you know, they're really, really inexpensive. So you can get a big plastic box with some chocolates in for £3.50. Or if you go to a different supermarket, high lawn, a different supermarket, it's five quid. But it's all for the same thing. Um, and on our supermarket chocolate challenge, we get one point every time we walk past the stack and we don't buy any. We get two points if we had put them in our trolley, but then we put them back. So we award ourselves two points. And then we off our running total. If we do indeed buy some and keep some, we lose four points. <laughs> so that is our supermarket chocolate challenge. It's been running for a while now. But it's going to be, you know, we've got kind of like three and a half weeks left, haven't we? Uh, yeah, just over almost four weeks. No, it's three and a half weeks, really. Um, so I'll run you through that again. Supermarket chocolate challenge. You get one point every time you walk past the stack of chocolates and you don't buy any. Two points when you put them in your trolley, but you put them back. <laughs> and then minus four points every time you buy a box. And hi, Jenny. And the reason why we're doing our supermarket chocolate challenge is because there is so much um, about shopping and sales. Hi, Carl. That um, th they all want us to buy shed loads of sugar. sugar. Sugar is very, very cheap. And at this time of year in particular, they are just marketing it so strongly. Stacks and stacks of chocolate that you can't live without. You know, you, your, ch your Christmas has to be packed full of chocolates and sweets. Of course, you know, uh, at Way to Fitness, I would suggest between, you can pretty much eat whatever you want between Christmas and New Year. That's fine. What we need to be aware of is what we eat between New Year and Christmas <laughs> for our overall health, without, without a doubt. So why don't you join our supermarket chocolate challenge and just tot up how many times you resist all this cheap chocolate because it will do your waistline and your teeth and your family's health the world of good. But the, so there's nothing wrong with having it around Christmas, but it's just the fact that sugar is so cheap nowadays that um, it can be something that we just sort of buy with eat without even thinking about it. But we're all, our waistlines are getting bigger and bigger. So it's 30th of November today, St. Andrew's Day. Andy's sitting in the kitchen saying, oh, I should have a day off for my Saints Day. <laughs> he didn't think of that when he was sorting out his holidays. <laughs> We've got cardio fitness at 10 and we have got um, sweat and stretch at 7 and relax and stretch at 8. So that's what's on our online timetable. I am looking into the chance of having a Christmas class face to face um, of sweat and stretch in a few weeks time but I'm waiting to get the latest government guidelines and find out if my hall's available. So that is, um, there is a plan to do that and I'll be in touch with my relevant sweat and stretch members uh, to find out who's interested. So far lots of people have been interested for a socially distanced class so we'll have to wait and see if that's possible. Anyway have a fantastic Monday and I will see you again on Wednesday. Bye!